Hey there garden nerds, I'm Christy Wilhelmy and I'm at my community garden plot today to share with you a trick I know how to take care of big infestations of crawling stink bugs. Now for me that particular bug is the bagrata bug or the bagrata bug. It's a Mexico native that has migrated up and it loves our brassicaceae plants and uh, they breed in temperatures over 73 degrees, so they're all over my arugula right now. I wanna show you how I take care of it in a couple of easy steps. Let's check it out. These are bogrita bugs, and they like to crawl around on all of my mustard family plants, brassicaceae, mustard greens, and as shown here, arugula. They are horribly invasive and they cause this stippling as they eat on the plant. They like to move around in pairs and they like to hide on the undersides of leaves from you. And these guys are mating as they crawl through the garden. I've left a whole bunch of arugula that's really not edible at this point, but I've left it in my plot in order to use it as a trap crop for catching bagrata bugs. And you can use, maybe you don't have wild arugula, but even regular arugula or old radishes works because they are attracted to anything in the mustard family. But whatever your bug, your pest is attracted to, you can use overgrown crops of that a appeal to attract them and then trap them. Just about two inches of water is all you need. A little bit of dish soap, just a couple drops. And then The next thing you want to do is put your bucket underneath the plant that your trap crop that has the bugs and just bang it in. And see? Look at all those. Once they're all in the bucket, I try and pull out some of the, um, bang on it to keep them inside. Uh, I try and pull out some of the detritus so that because that floats and they can stay alive on top of that. But then we just drop it into the soapy water. And I actually stir to submerge the stuff that's floating. And then they die. So with just two buckets, some water, and a little dish soap, you can manage a huge infestation of insects in a small space. If you keep this up for a week, every day for a week, you'll be able to manage the problem and then pull out that trap crop. So if you like this video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to find out when our next video comes online. Consider becoming a Patreon subscriber to support all the free stuff we do here at Garden Nerd. And of course, check out GardenNerd.com and my books for other great tips like this one. Happy gardening!